History is a treasure trove of fascinating stories, heroic deeds, and remarkable achievements. But it also harbors dark corners, unsettling events that defy reason and leave us questioning the depths of human nature. In this video, we delve into 10 creepy historical facts that will send shivers down your spine. From cursed mountains to bizarre experiments, these tales reveal the eerie side of our past. Chapter 1. The Deadly Rainbow Valley Ever wonder what lies at the peak of our world's tallest mountain? Beyond the breathtaking views and the triumphant sense of accomplishment, there's a grim spectacle that few are aware of. The Rainbow Valley. Now don't let the name fool you. This isn't a place of unicorns and sunshine. It's a graveyard. A chilling final resting place for climbers who dared to conquer Everest, but didn't make it back. Rainbow Valley earned its name from the colorful jackets, tents, and equipment left behind by these climbers. These vibrant splashes of color against the stark white snow create an eerie beauty that's as captivating as it is unsettling. But each piece of equipment, each brightly colored jacket, represents a life lost in pursuit of an ambitious dream. So next time you look up at the peak of Everest, remember the Rainbow Valley. It's a haunting reminder of the perils of chasing our dreams, wouldn't you agree? Chapter 2. A Frightening Experiment Do you think fear is natural or learned? Let's delve into the past, to the year 1920, when an experiment known as the Little Albert Experiment took place. In this study, a nine-month-old baby was conditioned to fear objects that are usually benign. A white rat, for example, was paired with a loud, frightening noise, causing the infant to cry. Over time, little Albert began to associate the white rat with fear, even without the noise. He began to cry at the mere sight of the rat. This fear, interestingly, also generalized to other fuzzy white objects, such as a Santa Claus mask with a cotton ball beard. This experiment, conducted by psychologist John B. Watson, raised serious ethical questions. It was a stark example of how easily fear can be instilled and manipulated in the human mind, particularly in a vulnerable, developing one. A chilling example of how easily fear can be instilled, don't you think? Chapter 3. A Massacre in the Name of Freedom What's the deadliest single non-natural disaster in U.S. history? The answer takes us back to a chilling event in 1978, known as the Jonestown Massacre. This event, more than any other, showcases the terrifying power of charisma twisted to serve sinister ends. In the heart of Guyana, over 900 people met their end, not at the hands of nature or war, but under the sway of one man, Jim Jones. A charismatic leader, Jones had a knack for twisting minds to his will, leading his followers into a mass suicide murder that shook the world. The chilling details are hard to fathom. A concoction of cyanide, sedatives, and powdered fruit juice known colloquially as the Jonestown Cocktail was the instrument of their demise. Jones himself was found with a bullet in his head, an end that he had orchestrated for his followers and himself. A grim reminder of how charisma can twist minds, isn't it? Chapter 4. The Infamous Baby Farmer How far would someone go for money? Let's take a chilling trip back in time to the late 19th century, to the story of Minnie Dean, the only woman ever to receive the death penalty in New Zealand. Dean was a woman of seemingly ordinary means, but behind closed doors, she partook in a gruesome practice that earned her the moniker of the baby farmer. In those days, illegitimate babies and unwanted infants were often given away to caretakers for a fee. Dean turned this into a horrifying business model. She would take in these innocent lives, promising to care for them, only to dispose of them when they became inconvenient. This macabre practice continued until she was finally caught and sentenced to death. Her legacy? A tale that sends shivers down the spine. A grim reminder of the depths to which human greed can sink. A horrifying tale of greed, wouldn't you say? Chapter 5. The Jaw-Dropping Execution What's the most ironic way a tyrant can meet his end? Let's take a journey back to the late 18th century, to the heart of the French Revolution. Maximilien Robespierre, a name synonymous with the reign of terror, met his end in one of the most fitting ways imaginable. This was a man who sent countless to the guillotine, a man who reveled in the fear he instilled in the hearts of the French populace. But during his arrest, fate played its hand. A shot rang out, and Robespierre's jaw was shattered. The tyrant was left speechless, quite literally, the man who'd once held the power of life and death in his hands was now rendered mute, unable to utter a single word in his own defense. 
The following day, the iron-willed Robespierre was led to the guillotine, his eyes reflecting the terror he'd once reveled in. A gruesomely poetic end for a reign of terror, don't you think? Chapter 6. The Glow of Death What happens when a miracle cure becomes a killer? In the early 20th century, radium was considered a miraculous substance, a beacon of progress with its radiant, luminescent glow. It was incorporated into a multitude of products, from wristwatches to cosmetics. But the most tragic victims were perhaps the radium factory workers. These young women, often referred to as the radium girls, spent their days painting watch dials with radium-laced paint, a job that unknowingly signed them up for a death sentence. They were instructed to point their brushes by placing them between their lips. This practice led to the ingestion of radium, which began to wreak havoc inside their bodies. Their health gradually deteriorated in horrifying ways, teeth falling out, jawbones crumbling, and bodies weakening. The radium, once believed to be a source of health, had become a grim reaper, claiming lives with its deadly glow. A chilling example of how progress can sometimes lead to tragedy, isn't it? Chapter 7. The Rabbit Births What's the strangest hoax you've ever heard of? Well, in the 18th century, Mary Toft, an Englishwoman, pulled off an unbelievable deception. She convinced doctors, yes, bona fide medical professionals, that she had given birth to rabbits. She had them all fooled, even the king's own physician. This was no simple trick. She had an elaborate setup involving hidden rabbit parts and a convincing act of labor pains. The educated men of medicine were completely taken in. It was a time of great exploration in the sciences, and this bizarre case led them to believe that a woman's impressions during pregnancy could influence the form of her child. When the truth was revealed, it was a shocking reminder of how even the most educated can be gullible, swayed by the extraordinary and lured by the promise of scientific discovery. A bizarre tale of deception, wouldn't you say? Chapter 8. The Silent Screams How much pain can a baby bear? In the not-so-distant past, medical practices were far from the high standards we hold today. A chilling example of this lies in the unthinkable practice of performing surgeries on babies without anesthesia. No numbing, no pain relief, just the raw, harsh reality of the surgeon's blade. This ghastly practice was rooted in the misguided belief that infants, in all their innocence and fragility, could not feel pain. It was thought that their nervous systems were not yet developed enough to process such sensations. We shudder at the thought now, with our understanding of neurology and infant development. We know that babies can, in fact, feel pain, possibly even more acutely than adults. This dark chapter of medical history serves as a horrifying reminder of our past ignorance, isn't it? Chapter 9. Genghis Khan's Carbon Impact Who was the world's most unintentional environmentalist? You might be surprised to learn it's none other than Genghis Khan, the brutal Mongol leader who, in the 13th century, reigned over the largest contiguous empire in history. Often remembered for his ruthless conquests, Khan's impact was felt in more than just the annals of human history. His actions also had a profound effect on the environment. It's estimated that his military campaigns resulted in the death of as many as 40 million people. As horrifying as that is, it's what happened next that's truly remarkable. With fewer people inhabiting vast expanses of land, forests began to regrow. This reforestation absorbed a significant amount of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, effectively reducing the carbon footprint of the time. It's a chilling irony that Khan, a symbol of destruction, inadvertently became a force for environmental restoration. A startling testament to the impact one man can have on the world, don't you think? Chapter 10. A King's Beardless Edict What's the weirdest royal decree you've ever heard? Now, let's delve into the peculiar edict of Richard the Lionheart. A king known for his courage and prowess in battle, Richard had a unique concern that would make anyone scratch their head, or rather, their chin. He issued an edict, a royal command, that all his knights must shave their beards. Now, you might be thinking, what's so terrifying about a beard? Well, it was thought that in the heat of battle, an enemy could grab hold of a knight's beard, giving them a potentially fatal advantage. To Richard, a king who valued his knight's lives and his kingdom's success, this was an unacceptable risk. So, he made it mandatory for all his knights to go clean-shaven. In a world where beards were often seen as a symbol of virility and power, this was quite a radical move. 
A curious example of how fear can shape fashion, wouldn't you agree?